Hi everybody, Jillian here and welcome back to my channel for a new Bible journaling process video. Today is part three of six in the You Bled series that I'm doing. I'm journaling the lyrics from the song You Bled by Rend Collective in the margins of my Bible. And so today we are on um, the third installment of this. The last couple of weeks I've just been painting in my Bible and then putting letter stickers down or painting and then um, stamping. And so I'm going to take a break from the paint this week and instead I'm going to use washi tape. So I have uh, a canister of washi tape here. This is I think like an old chocolate covered raisins container. <laughs> and then I have my favorite washi which goes in my Bible journaling tote bag uh, is in this Studio Calico bag that I guess I think like an old kit or something came in. So. I'm going to use washi tape. Now I've done this before but I've never done a process video and I'll show you guys the look that I'm going for. Uh, I'm basically going to be covering the margin totally with washi tape and then putting letter stickers down for the big idea that I want to draw out. Now I might have some room left over um, for journaling and I, I think I specifically like wanted to journal a little bit extra about this. I hadn't done that the previous two weeks. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen all of the new Illustrated Faith releases on the Bella Boulevard blog, but today's was I think the last one, like the basics collection, and I was totally inspired by all of the bright colors. So I pulled out some of the tile stickers um, from Illustrated Faith that I'm going to use and I'm basically just going to dump out my washi and look for something that I think will work. I really don't have anything in mind like color scheme wise other than I know I just want to use like the Illustrated Faith Boulevard, Bella Boulevard like color palette so like maybe a green or a blue or something that's repeating and neutral enough neutral and pattern enough so that I can put it down and it's not going to compete with the text that's going to sit on top of it. So this is a good one. Um, I'm just going to take a minute and look through this and then kind of put it back and show you guys what I'm going to use. Okay, so I pulled out a few here that I really like. This is a great just black and white floral and it's pretty big so I won't have to use much of it. So that's a contender. I have this, it's from a Create 365 canister of washi, it, you know, it's like one of those multi-packs. I might use this because it has those colors that I'm going for, but it is pretty thin and I'm going to have to use a lot of it to get it down on the page. So while I like the colors, I'm not sure that I'm going to use that. Um, I have this pink one, it's neutral enough. I'm not a pink person, but you know, it might work. And then this one, I think, is the one I'm going to go with. It's also from Create 365, and it's from one of those canister, like, tubes of washi tape that comes, like, six rolls in one. And so I think I might use this. It is pretty bold, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. That means I'll probably have to go pretty simple with the letter stickers. So we'll see how this goes. Um, it's easy enough to peel back up once it goes down. It might take some of the paper with it, but I'm just going to cover it in washi anyway. So if that happens, it's it's not a big deal. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And then if it doesn't work, then I'll just peel it up and then use this one. So I'm not very precise with this. And what I do is I go all the way top to bottom. Although for this one, I think I might want to keep that part open. And so see, I already put it down crooked and I'm able to pick it up pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to do and just take each strip and I go a little over the edge here and then I'll go back and trim that with the scissors. Um, and then I basically, so you line it up with the strip up top and then just press it down as you go across the page. And these um, like torn edges here, they don't really bother me. If it did bother you, you could just, instead of tearing the tape off, you could just um, cut it and then put it down. Okay, so now the washi tape is down, and I, I do want to point out that you could save yourself the time of doing this and just put down a piece of pattern paper, but I don't like doing that because the pattern paper is much heavier than washi tape. And 
I at one point had like a transparency in my Bible and it was just totally making the page, the Bible page underneath it, buckle under the weight of it. And my Bible always opened to that page in John and it was driving me crazy. So that's probably just like my issue, <laughs> but I just wanted to point that out. Like you could totally get this effect to just using um, pattern paper. But I have a lot of washi tape for some reason. I don't use a lot of washi tape. So this is one way. I don't use it for scrapbooking. But um, I am more inclined to use it this way instead of using scrapbook paper. So whatever works for you is what you should do. But um, so yeah, the transparency that I, that I made, I'll show you really quick. I now just use it as a bookmark. So um, it's just a piece of like acetate or something. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers. And I put um, some of the Homespun Alphas on it and then some of the Word Fetty stickers. And it just is from a verse in John 10. And um, I had it over the sermon, like washi taped in my Bible over the sermon right here. And it would like flip open like that, but it was just too heavy and like the page just buckled under the weight of it. So like I said, I took it out and now it it is just used as a bookmark. So let me put it back where it was and keep cutting. Now, normally when I use washi tape, like if I'm using it for scrapbooking, what I'll do is just fold it over the back of the page since you're not gonna see it. But I probably am going to want to journal on the back side of this and I'm not gonna wanna have a bunch of random ends of washi tape hanging off. So this is kind of the labor intensive part. Um, for me at least, is cutting off the excess washi. And I usually do take some of the page of the Bible with it, so that's probably just indicative of my scissor skills, but just letting you know that could happen. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I went all the way to the bottom of the page, but I didn't start all the way at the top. So, whoops. Oh well, it's not a big deal. I won't lay awake tonight thinking about that. Okay, so that's what it looks like now that it's down. And I'm going to be uh, sticking down the phrase, you left your perfection and embraced our rejection. And I just realized that I did it on the totally wrong side of my Bible. I wanted to do it in Matthew 27, verses 29 and 30 and 38 to 44, which are right here. So, I have a dilemma. Do I try and pick up all of this washi tape and put it over here, or do I just leave it? I think in this case, I'm just going to leave it and then highlight this section over here. Okay, so this works out. Totally did not plan this. I'll go ahead and stick down the stickers over here, and then I'll highlight the verses here with um, my big brush pens which I just happen to have out in this pouch and then I'll go ahead and write any journaling like down here I don't think I have enough to fill up the whole margin but I surely have enough to go right here so all right that worked out okay okay so I have some letter stickers selected so I think for the larger words I'm going to make those the words perfection and rejection and then for the smaller words I'm going to go ahead and use these tile stickers from Illustrated Faith. Now, I went through my alpha sticker collection that I also just use for Bible journaling, and I have these two sheets from Allie Edwards that I might use for the two longer words. Or I also have these alphabets from Simple Stories. I really like these because it's just a, uh, it's a little bit bigger than these. It's uh, outlined instead of a tile, and it's a good size, and it they have like a, just a ton of colors of these. So these are great too. So I think I'm going to mostly use these these and then maybe these gray ones but they're all like the same bright colors that I knew I had wanted to use. While I'm getting these letters stuck down I'm going to go ahead and read to you the passage that I thought was a really good place to journal this lyric and I am in Matthew 27 and I'm going to start in verse 29 and 30 and then skip down to 38 to 44 and so the heading here is the soldiers mock Jesus. And then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand. They knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. 
They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. And then I'm skipping down to verse 38. Two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him, for he said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. So typically when I read this, I cry because... It's just so terribly sad to think of. Um, you know, this is the way that uh, these people were were treating Jesus, who only came down to die for them, to offer himself as a sacrifice for them and for us. Um, you know, that they might get to spend eternity in heaven with him, just so, you know, the Father could be reconciled to these people. And just the way that they treat him. I mean, I, I cry every time. I read that. And so that's basically what I'm going to echo in the journaling on the right. Um, and I just think that it's just a totally amazing concept to think about. Jesus uh, left his perfection. Everything was created in him. He left the presence of God uh, to come down to earth and, you know, live among us and minister to us, to die for us to come back to life for us just so that he can have a relationship with us and know us. I mean, us, me, you, my neighbor that annoys me, everybody. Uh, it's just totally amazing to think about. So after I get the letter stickers down, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mark the verses that I'm reading. And then I have these Faber-Castell big brush pens that I'm going to use to highlight. And I kind of want to echo the colors that are in the washi tape. So I pulled a few out and then I'm going to take my notebook and just test the colors to make sure that they are the ones that I want to use. So I think I'm going to use about six or seven and I have the color listed in the description below if you want to know what the exact name and number of each marker is. I thought about adding some more washi tape onto the right to kind of join the two entries to, or to join the two pages together but I think it's pretty obvious that it's the same entry. So I'm just going to go down in uh, rainbow order here and highlight them and then as I was doing this I kind of realized like these are pretty happy colors for such a terrible part of Jesus's crucifixion but I was just kind of thinking that as I was as I was doing it. So for the journaling there are faint lines in my Bible, but I like these wonky lines instead that I draw with the 0.65 millimeter journaling pen, and then I go ahead and write with the 0.25 millimeter. So it says, thank you, Jesus, for humbling your, yourself for me, for leaving your perfection and choosing to sacrifice yourself for us, for enduring this humiliation so that, me, so that we might spend eternity with you. And that's exactly why he did it. I mean, can you imagine being spit on? Everybody is making fun of you, hurling insults at you. He was beaten just so that we might have a relationship with him, so that we can spend eternity with him. I think that is absolutely amazing to think about. Who else can you think of in your life that's given their life for you? Um, probably very few of us. So that's definitely something that I want to linger on and reflect on in my Bible here. And uh, that's just what I did. So that's going to be about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to come back next week 